Welcome to the Bugatti. Thank you. Oh, welcome to Bugatti. A, a city of gentle people. City of gentle people. Thanks. You guys heard that. Welcome to Dumaguete. Let's see how it goes. I don't think that Asians really appreciate, got to appreciate that, that dark skin love and heritage until foreigners came over here and reminded them like, hey, this is beautiful. Looks like she's in her native embodiment. You go for the dark skin sometimes, you go for the one with the round hips, the full lips, the curly hair. They get to feel beautiful again because in Asia, if your skin is darker, you're not the beauty standard. But here's the thing. When it comes to the world, you are the beauty stand. Oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. Look at the features of them. This is the Filipino features. You got the big little nose, the nostrils. You got those high cheekbones, that curly hair, and you can tell their skin was made of bronze. This is a great representation of Negros Island, a.k.a. Dumaguete. Uh, I truly feel like Filipino people are beautiful. I feel like they are really beautiful. I'm talking about the things that they consider to be imperfections is exactly what makes them known. Is exactly what makes them known, you know. A lot of um colorism goes on here. I won't say it's necessarily racism because it drops some education in your things. Ew, I hate that. Racism is when a person is able to affect your livelihood and your lifestyle. Meaning the job that you get, the quality of food you get, your living environments based off of how they view you. If it's your skin or anything, that's technically racism. So technically these days, most of the people that you see today, they don't have the power to even be called as a racist, even if they support it. But what colorism could be is what you would see here today in modern Asia. And it also was in the Americas. Let's not forget, us black people in America, we display colorism with our African friends in elementary school. Now that was elementary school and we all growing up and we realized we was cousins and we realized that they fine and beautiful too. And we realized so much more. But over here in Asia, people were usually very kind, but the colorism is still displayed. Not between me being a melanated man and them being Asian man, but between each other, between themselves. And they can admit it or share more in the comments. What you'll notice here is that a lot of Asian people will prefer to be a lighter tone and will do anything they can to stay out of the sun so that they don't get this beautiful bronze complexion or go get nose surgeries and put dye, skin color dye all on their body, you know, to preserve looking uh, like other Asian nationalities. And you know, with loving ourselves and with loving each other's, maybe this colorism can come to an appease, it can come to an end. Maybe so. Because y'all are beautiful. And shout out to the... This isn't talked about on the internet. Shout out to the foreigners who come out here to Asia and show so much love to the dark-skinned Asian communities. Let's keep it a buck. Most of the foreigners that come out here, they go for the, they go for a woman who looks like she's an aboriginal. And yes, there's aborigines here in the Philippines or all over the world. We go, we go for the guys. We go. The guys go for the woman who looks like she's in her native embodiment. 
You go for the dark skin. Sometimes you go for the one with the round hips, the full lips, the curly hair. And then the ones that don't, don't. We're not, I'm not trying to create, uh, confusion here. Really not. But I'm saying, I've noticed a lot of guys like myself who travel, we really appreciate the real culture of an environment, especially here in Asia. I remember when I was in Thailand, they got the people, the Isan people, and the Isan people are normally darker because they grow up in the environments of the provinces where they get that real deal sunlight. And some of them work on farms. And they just so happen to have the most beautiful music. The most beautiful music and charisma and even how they talk and how their bodies are shaped. That's very, very similar to us. So we gravitate toward that. And I don't... Now, when I say foreigners, I'm talking Western foreigners, specifically African and Americans and, and those of that such. Yes, sir. Airbender. Yeah. I'm just saying, man. I appreciate. I'm gonna give the flowers to you guys who are who are being true to yourselves and loving on yourselves. And then I want to give the flowers to the people who come over to this land and love the land and love the people. <laughs> who love the land and love the people? Because now the Isan Thai people, you feel me? They they got they get the they get the. They get to rock their beautiful selves the way they want to. They get to live and walk in abundance the way they want to. They get to feel beautiful again because in Asia, if your skin is darker, you're not the beauty standard. But here's the thing. When it comes to the world, you are the beauty standard. And the world is coming to Asia and we see you. We see you. So you may not have been the cutest girl in elementary and you probably got picked last because your butt was big in high school. And your and your and your cheekbones was, was really high and your skin was this dark orange or burnt or whatever they called it. But now look at you. But now look at you and you talking to the young man that's weird. You're talking to the young man is weird. Many Filipino young guys out here. And people in general got that beautiful skin, that beautiful dark skin, and the lighter skin is beautiful as well. I'm just letting you guys know we see y'all. We see y'all. So if you come to Asia and you're surprised that people look um vastly different but also similar, <laughs> you probably haven't checked out my channel. My name is Cool DMG, you guys. You can call me a solo traveler. I'm a soul. I'm a soul. A being. Just being here. Dropping flowers around the universe. Something like journalism. If you like what you see, push the goddamn button. Soul Tribe, thanks for all the love. Just a happy reminder, in the description of every video that I drop, there will be a link to the ebook. Yes, the ebook is out. Chocolate Travel Guide to Southeast Asia. All you gotta do is look in the description, click the first link available, and I even offer spots for affiliates. So if you wanna make money with me, you can do that. The book is $22, and I got all of my jokes in here, just in case you don't feel like watching all of the videos. Other than that, I really appreciate you. Thank you for joining the Soul Tribe. And don't forget, push the goddamn button. <laughs> Love, peace. I'm out.